Hi, I'm DM Fitzgerald. I'm the creator of the Mapur Adventure. I'd like to thank all of you that have liked and subscribed to give us a boost. If you haven't liked or subscribed, please consider it. We could definitely use the help to the site. And now, let's roll the tape. When last we left our intrepid adventurers, the party is on their way to the Elvish Kingdom with a peace treaty, and they're looking for a place that'll be safe for their friend Scala, who is falling under the sway of the cursed metal of the Dragon Ring. The party realizes that they have encountered a substantial part of the Northern Deseratan Army, and it's not heading towards the Southern Deseratan Army, but west towards the Elvish lands. After a quick council, they decide to follow what serves as a road towards the Elvish kingdom, and they'll figure out how to get across the river when they get to it. They leave the road and start slogging through the swamp. From time to time, they have to hide from parties of sheesh. Sheesh are like orcs. One party they find is trying to free siege equipment from the muck. Finn and Mercy agree that it looks like the Sheesh are trying to take the siege equipment towards the Elvish Kingdom. Scala confides to Morgan and Marcus that she feels that something is searching for her. She says that maybe bringing her along was a mistake. Garu comes back to the party after some scouting with Brock and asks them all to follow him. They follow and come to a concealed inlet of the river. On the far side of the river, they see the spires of the Elvish Kingdom, but the river is too fast flowing and it's much too wide for them to swim, a tantalizing look at where they need to be. After a brief council, they decide to follow the river north, hoping to get away from the Northern Deseratan army they continue along the river. That evening, they hold another council on what to do. It's decided that they've just come too far to go back, and they may not even be able to go back. Garu and Mercy suggest a raft across the river, but then they agree that that would leave them exposed for far too long. Marcus offers another plan. He says that if they keep going north and they don't find a way across the river, they will, however, come to a part where the river comes out of the mountain caves. He says they can look for ways there across the mountains. And if that fails, they could always make their way to Anadel, use the bridge there. It's a long way out of the way. But once on the other side, they would be in neutral Second Kingdom territory. They could come back south and try entering the Elvish lands from there. Morgan says that that's not a quick idea, but it is a sound plan and sounds like it's safer than going back. They travel on and Garu and Brock come back from another scouting mission, this time with even worse news. Up ahead, they say, the Northern Deseratan Army is building even more siege equipment, and they seem to have patrols scattered ahead of them. Morgan says that there is a way that she can possibly muster the power of the Lady to get them across the lines. However, it'll take a lot of the Lady Chaltasea's power, and she needs to prep for it tonight, and then they can use the spell tomorrow. The party camps on one of the few dry pieces of land that they've seen and watches as the bog fog closes in. Late in the evening, the watch is alerted 
as a yellow fog has surrounded the party, the fog pulses as if it's alive, with black veins wriggling through it. Brock is touched by it and falls asleep and cannot be roused. Finn and Garu carry him until Finn is touched as well. The fog touches Mercy as he takes a misstep in the swamp and is pulled under the water. Marcus tells Morgan to run and take Scala with her. He'll try to keep it at bay. Morgan and Scala run through the swamp until they can run no more. They hear the sounds of distant combat and then nothing. The two women talk and Scala says that she can teleport Morgan and herself a short distance. Morgan wishes she had time to finish her own spell, but she agrees. Scala casts the spell and can almost immediately tell something has gone wrong with it. She finds herself in a place of darkness and four sets of eyes regard her. One of the creatures chuckles and says, it's good that she has finally decided to join them.